Hi everybody, welcome aboard Profiles from the Titanic on the Horizon's Edge channel. Thanks for being with us. Before we start, please hit the subscribe and the like button and be sure to spread it around. Just search Profiles from the Titanic to check out all the videos where we take a look at the people on board the Titanic to get to know their stories. And boy, have we got a story for you today coming from the first class passenger list once again. They say love can sometimes transcend death. And in this story, that really comes to light. Two elderly people who were coming back to New York where they lived, they were gonna get on the, board, uh, the boat, excuse me, at least the, uh, his wife was going to get on the lifeboat. She refused to do it. She refused to leave her husband because they had lived their lives together. And so this is such an emotional, poignant story today from profiles from the Titanic, Isidore and Ida Strauss. It's an incredible story. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this one from the Profiles from the Titanic. Isidore Strauss was born in Otterburg, Bavaria, in 1845, and by the time he was nine years old, his family immigrated to the United States and settled in the state of Georgia. He had been planning to attend the United States Military Academy in West Point when the American Civil War broke out in 1861. Isidore was then elected as an officer of a Confederate military unit, but since he was only 16 years old at the time, he was not allowed to serve. After the war, in 1871, he met and married Ida Blunn, who had been born in Germany in 1849. Together, they eventually had seven children, one of whom died in infancy. By this time, the family had moved to New York City, and Isidore worked at his family's business, the L. Strauss and Sons Company, which became the Glass and China Department at the Macy's Department Store. By 1896, Isidore and his brother Nathan had gained full ownership of the Macy's company. Isidore also had a brief political career, winning a special election in January 1894 to fill out the term of a congressman from the 15th District of New York who had been named New York City Controller. Strauss did not run for re-election the following year, however and he also declined being named the Postmaster General of the United States, which was offered to him by his friend, President Grover Cleveland. During the winter of 1912, he and Ida were vacationing in France when in April of that year they decided to return home and book first-class passage on board the RMS Titanic. They boarded at Southampton and were having a wonderful time on board. On Sunday, April 14th, after the Titanic struck the iceberg, the Strausses were told to board lifeboat number eight. This was near the front of the boat deck on the port side. As Ida was getting in the boat with her maid, she saw Isidore standing on deck. She changed her mind. She gave her maid the fur coat, saying she would not be needing it. As other witnesses have testified, Ida said to Isidore, We have been living together for many years. Where you go, I go. As we have lived, so we will die together. As friends urged them to get on the lifeboat, Isidore flatly refused, saying, I will not go before the other men. Ida and Isidore were last seen on deck, holding each other tightly. Eyewitnesses described the scene as the most remarkable exhibition of love and devotion. Both of them died when the ship sank. Isidore's body was later recovered from the ocean and returned to New York, where he is buried. Ida's body was never found. But the family gathered ocean water from the wreck site and put it in an urn next to Isidore in the Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. Today, there are a variety of memorials to the Strausses in New York City. The story is beautiful of love transcending death, but it also is made all the more tragic when we realize that lifeboat number eight which was one of the first lifeboats launched from the port side of the Titanic at approximately 1 a.m., left the side of the ship with only 25 people on board. There was still room for 40 more passengers. Thanks for watching Profiles from the Titanic.